Pogba has everything, fame, fortune and a loving family. He should be super comfortable with his life and not have anything to worry about, right? Wrong. He is concerned and taking steps to fight for financial justice in a very unfair financial world. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about what provoked Pogba to get out of his comfort zone and to make a stand against the financial system of the world. It began when Pogba started learning and researching about Islam on his own. I was lucky to have friends that were Muslim always talking because I like to know stuff and I got to know about Islam like that or to read do my research the truth is there the last religion I was lucky that I had good people that was talking to me good and I see them pray I see them fast every time I see them all together making food I like that that looks more like a religion like why Christian they don't pray together everyone pray the same way they help each other they make other kinds this is more like me this is just the way I got closer and and I convert. The search for Islam was inspired by his favorite athlete, Muhammad Ali. For me, he's an icon. He's a convert, he's a Muslim, and he fights also for the community. He spoke up in America back in the day when it wasn't open like now. He didn't go to war. You know, he went against basically the country. And he was a legend. He's, he has this charisma and everything. And he was Muslim. He's like my hero. Soon enough, he discovered the power of Islam when it comes to unifying people of all races in the entire world. But how was Umrah for you? Best experience is the history of Islam. My first impression when I went there, I was so surprised to see so many people and so many different cultures, people from everywhere. I was shocked. I could see someone from Sweden, from China, and we were all here. Like, for one reason, you know, for Allah, it was crazy. So I was like, I went to tears. I went to It's crazy. And when we pray, it was uh, the best feeling ever. Prophet Sallallahu says in his last sermon that everybody is equal regardless of color, ethnicity, everything. And that's something that you really see there. I went also uh, when my dad passed away. My dad passed away, subhanAllah, and he converted before he died. I went to make Umrah for him. And this is the beauty the beauty of Islam. Because when someone, a Muslim died, you can even make or had Umrah for the person that, that died. He was in the hospital, he had cancer, he wasn't a Muslim. A few weeks before he dies, oh, he converted to Islam. No, I was very happy. You know, my mom, she's African, she's Muslim, and she went to do Hajj and everything. She got very close to Allah. <laughs> I'm very close to my mother, yeah. you know, my best friend, you know. I, I find Islam by myself. And I try to teach also or help my mother to know more about Islam. You see, the guidance of Islam is the only guidance you will need to live a completely wholesome life. And this is how Islam brought completeness in the life of one of the greatest football players of our time. Why would I hide? I'm very happy with myself. You know, sometimes you post on social media, not to show off that I'm a Muslim, but I realized that it can push someone that been thinking about doing it just to go and do the Umrah. And that's what happened to one of my friends. So it's like doing a sadaqah. Of course, when uh, your intention is to do it for Allah, I think it's important also to show who you are. There is a level of bravery required to be yourself fully. And alhamdulillah, not only are you comfortable being a Muslim, you also make it look cool. <laughs> Actually, Islam as a holistic system it talks about so many different things and money as well. How important is it for you to ensure that your money is aligned with Islamic principles and it's halal? So when I convert, I straight away spoke to the bank I said, you know, I need to make sure that I don't go haram and I invest good and everything. So straight away, I told my uh, manager, you know, me is Sharia or is nothing, you know. Now, the most important question is, what does this complete wholesome religion has to say about business and finance? In less than a minute, I can make you understand why Islamic finance makes more sense than anything else right now. All you have to do is understand these five points. Number one no interest or riba because interest is a tool for the rich to earn a fixed income without actually doing any work or taking any risks number two no spending money on alcohol gambling pork drugs pornography or anything that is detrimental to the society number three all bonds, stocks, ETFs, and any other financial derivatives has to be backed up by real physical assets. Number four, you cannot sell a good that you are not in possession of. So no short selling or selling of any goods that has not entered your inventory. Number five, no uncertainty. Never keep any terms of transactions uncertain. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and see you in the next video, inshallah.